So whitelisting is essentially about trust. How much you trust a person or, or an organization. And that is an essential component of telling that something is good. Something is good only if it's not bad and it's coming to you from a trusted party. That's how we define whitelisting. And there's only two ways really to do whitelisting. That is by tracking the source, which would mean, let's say a domain from where an object has been downloaded. So let's say you downloaded a file from Microsoft.com, you place some trust into Microsoft that they've verified that these packages are not malicious. And that is a measure that we assign as a number. And there's an additional way, uh, which is tracking if the object is signed or not. So the digital certificates play a, a large role in to assigning trust into the object. The ultimate trust we assign to the file is coming as the best result of where the file was found and how it was signed. Both of those things uh, come together and then we say, this is the best possible outcome for the user and this is the, the, the way you can trust this particular object. The object is trusted and considered good only if it's coming from either a good source or it's signed by a good party and it's not malicious. The reason why our whitelisting coverage is so expensive is because we've layered our automated static analysis on top of whitelisting. So when the files are downloaded or gathered from a source, they're decomposed, we extract every bit of files which were contained within that archive, and that same trust gets propagated downward. So that's how you get a lot more coverage. Up until this point, uh, we've collected and analyzed and classified over 10 billion files, more than half of which have been considered goodware. So the way users use this information is to say, how can we suppress any possible false positives which classification technologies can bring. Well, we look at the source of the information, we look how trustworthy that source is, and then if we detect something bad, we still need to check it, but there's a lesser likelihood of that actually being true because the source is trustworthy. <laughs>